2013 and in the 10th grade. Um, this year, my project is a continuation project of last year. And what I've done, what I did last year was create an algorithm, and I created a song based on the digits of the number pi. And um, I took the numbers of pi and applied my algorithm to them and plotted them into Finale Print Music 2007, which is notation software for musicians. And this year I just added to that by um, adding a new number, creating a new song based on the digits of the number phi. Now that's not five, that's phi. And Plato said that it's the most, um, most important, most binding mathematical relationship in the universe. And I definitely agree, learning how much pi is in. Um, phi, excuse me. And what I've done this year is I took the same algorithm and created a song based on the digits of phi. Um, taking the digits of phi and applying my algorithm and plotting it into Finale Print Music again. Um, and I also reworked the waltz of pi that I did last year, um, modifying a few things. And I also made a song based on pi that was in 4-4 four, four time instead of 3-4 time. So it's not a waltz, it's just a song. And when I listened to the recordings of all three of these songs, I realized that um, it was not very audibly pleasing that there was a lot of dissonance, and I found out maybe it had something to do with my algorithm. So when I um, played my algorithm on the piano, I found that four, five, excuse me, out of nine of the numbers were dissonant. So I couldn't let that be. I had to reformulate my um, algorithm and redo my songs. So all total on this board, there are seven songs, and um, I, uh, found out my final conclusion was that the music of the golden number phi is the most beautiful out of all of them. Stand, stand up. Okay. All right, let me see about this. 